Newton's laws of motion, that is the topic of the video. We are gonna use this study guide as our reference throughout all sections. Since we know that mostly this section deals with force, which leads us to firstly define the force. When force is the topic, you must know that force is indicated as a push or a pull of a body or object which changes the state of its rest or uniform motion of that body in a straight line. Please take note that a balanced force does not change the state of rest or motion of a body. If that force causes a change in the state of rest or motion of the body, that means that force is not a balanced force, but we may say it is an unbalanced force. Let us say he pushes this crate, and the crate moves to the right. What should we name the force that she applies on to the crate? Well, that force is an applied force. Same applies if he is pulling the crate with rope. Still, the force he applies, we name it applied force. So, let us assume that the crate is moving on the rough surfaces. That leads us to introduce the frictional force, which is the force acting in between the contact of surface and the bottom of crate. The frictional force is always acting in the opposite direction to the applied force. As he pushes to the right, the frictional force will be to the left. Please take note that a frictional force is equal to the applied force, if or as long as the body is at the rest. Remember this. The greatest frictional force acts just before the motion begins. And once the motion begins, the frictional force becomes so small. This is the formula to calculate the frictional force, whereas this is the symbol which represents the coefficient of friction, and this is the normal force. Since we have normal force in this formula, well, it is time to talk about normal force now. Normal force is the force that the surface is exerting on the body or object, and take note that it is facing upwards, making an angle of 90 degrees or perpendicular to the surface. That is the normal force. Bear in mind that some textbooks represent the normal force with letter N, and some represent it with letter F to subscript N. Remember this. The normal force is only applied on the body or object that is in contact to the surface. The surface, it may be the surface of the table, ground, and etc. The general formula for normal force is this one, where this m is for mass of that body, and this g is the constant of acceleration due to gravity. Note, this formula is for the body on the straight line. The body that is on the incline uses this normal force formula, where only this function is added on the suffix of the original formula. There are forces around the pushed or pulled or lifted object. When you are instructed to draw a labeled free body diagram, of the forces acting on the box during the time it moves to the right. Let us assume this box is being pushed to the right. So on this box, we will have applied force, which is the force of pushing by this man on the box. It will face in this direction. We have a normal force facing upwards, making 90 degrees angle. We have this normal force because the box is touching the surface. It is upward pushing by ground on the box and we have frictional force which is facing on the left, as it is opposing or disturbing the forward movement by means of the friction. Lastly, we will have the force facing downwards, which is the weight of the box on the surface. Same to the box that is being pulled on the ground. We will have applied force, normal force, weight force, and frictional force. Now let us talk about the object that is lifted upwards from the crane or pulley. It can be by means of steel cable or by means of string or rope. On this box, we will have the tension force from here facing upwards and weight force on here facing downwards. In this scenario, we don't have normal force because it is not touching the surface. We may have frictional force due to wind but that will be from the statement of that scenario. Let us analyze this scenario. A helicopter accelerates vertically upwards, with two objects fixed with different ropes under this helicopter as you see on the diagram. 
Then, the instruction is. Draw a force diagram for object A, show all forces acting on it while accelerating. And draw another force diagram for object B showing all forces acting on it. Object A will have tension force from here facing upwards. It will have tension force on the rope that connects object A with object B. And object A will have weight force facing downwards. Only three forces which object A has. On object B, there is tension force facing upwards and weight force facing downwards. But if there was a third object connected from object B, we would have tension force on the bottom of object B. But since we have nothing connected on the bottom of object B, that means we have only weight force.